Uh, Rich, shall we carry on? Yes! Oh, Unfortunately. That's why you need millions of years. Yes, exactly. Well, you're trusting the biology majors and the biology professors know what they're talking about, yeah, and, and they can't even give me a, they can't even give me evidence of a change of kinds. Well, I'm, well, then there isn't one. If they don't give it, then I don't, I wouldn't say there was. Yeah. I just go on what I've seen and what I've learned from. Do so you believe? Yeah. You know what that's called? What? Blind faith. Blind faith. Oh. Yeah. Faith is the great cop-out, the great excuse to evade the need to think and evaluate evidence. Richard Dawkins. Do you believe in intelligent design? No. Of course not. Do you think everything is intelligently designed? Um, no, I don't believe that things are intelligently designed. Okay, you seem like an intelligent person, so I'm going to ask you something. I'd like you to make me a rose, okay? How would you make a rose? I don't have the, the, the capabilities to do that. Hang on. No, it's not intelligently designed, so you should be able to whip me up a rose real quick. Do you believe a rose? What? 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 Fucking just stop because... How does that follow in, like, any way at all? If it's not intelligently designed, then everyone can cast the spell that spontaneously poofs it into existence. Is that what you say? Yes. And by that... I have just now decided I will make another universe. Here, there's a Big Bang. There's some galaxy. No fucking red. It doesn't work like that, you stupid Australian fucking banana fucking creepy bastard who hangs around schools asking children what they learned in class today. Uh, he's from New Zealand, by the way. <laughs> fucking me from that general shithole part of the fucking world. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to so all Australians I and New Zealand friends. You son of a bitch. Alright, shall we carry on? <laughs> we love you, Australia. Is intelligently designed? Definitely not. In order for me to know what to make, I have to know what a rose is. Well, it's got a seed, so you've got to start with nothing and you've got to create a seed from nothing. Oh, can you what? do that? No. Uh, uh, I think I just had an aneurysm. <laughs> I think I just shot out part of my brain. Um, what? We, we need to have a seed to make a rose, and we need to know how to make this? Okay, can I just point out? Oak trees, acorns, they kind of fuel the shit. I can't make... Well, I technically could make a person, or I could at least contribute to the making of a person. I'm not just, and there it is. This hurts. Why did you bring me into this? You're a dick. Because we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shall we carry on? I can't. Could you make a rose from nothing? No. Can't you make something from nothing? It's it's just basic, you know, science. A rose from nothing? A rose. Just like, I, I can't. Honestly. Why not? Me? I just, I have no supernatural abilities. All the geniuses in the world can't make a grain of sand from nothing. We don't know where to start. I can't. Why not? I don't have millions, because billions that was, of years. That, was, uh, that, that would be by, like, by, physically impossible. Like, I mean, that would have to... Uh, Sorry, Catch. That would violate the law of conservation and, and, and matter and energy. The, 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 <laughs> that would break reality. Well, that that goes back to the whole "what is nothing" issue, but yeah. that's a different can of worms. Yeah, and uh, I've got a feeling. Let's, let's stay out of that and focus on evolution. But I've got a feeling now that he's mentioned nothing. What's coming up? Yeah. yeah. Well, if he does, I have quite the simple way of explaining nothing. All right. Uh, there's going to be two things coming up: the the argument about you know nothing. We know that argument. And our collective blood pressure. Oh, and if he's going to go from the how do you make something out of nothing, I have a rough idea of how to do that. So, fuck you, Ray. Let's go. That's, that's not possible. So how could you say everything's not intelligently designed? Where does that leave you on the scale of intelligence if you say everything's not intelligently designed and you can't even make a rose? Why do you think there's no one teaching intelligent design at UCLA? Because they're not allowed to. We can teach anything we want. There's a reason intelligent design isn't taught in our uh -uh. learning institutions. It's bullshit, it's that's why. Right. Victor Stinger, the legal staff of Freedom From Religion Foundation, a church-state watchdog group, 
has had remarkable success in convincing many institutions, such as school boards and town councils, that they are breaking constitutional law when they sponsor sectarian activities. That includes intelligent design. When the authorities can't be convinced, Freedom From Religion Foundation sues, and it wins more often than not. There was nothing Mainly because beginning. they're legally in the right. Yeah. Big explosion of nothing, it became something, and then it came into a rose. And giraffes and horses what? and cows. Right, oh, no, I didn't hear that. What did, did he just say, say what I think he just... Yeah, yeah, I think he just said something came from nothing. How did that happen? And if that's where he's going to go, can I point out that nothingness is one of the most volatile things ever. For example, if you take a bell jar and you take all of the air and shit out of it, any air, gas, or whatever is put anywhere near that, within that vacuum, just inhabits it. It's very easy to destroy nothing with something. Nothing is quite unstable. And that is a sentence I never thought I would say in my entire life. I'm not saying that uh, that's what happened. I'm just saying I don't know what happened. That's what, that's what, that's what scientists are, are, are have theorized has happened. And you believe them. To a point. So you've got faith. That is true, yeah. Could you give me a definition of vestigials? How's that back up evolution? Vestigial is, uh, is like, I'm not a biologist, so I'm kind of fuzzy here, but it's, it's like a remaining organ that is not used, like for instance our appendix. Uh, rabbits have huge appendix for digestion of grass. We still have a vestigial appendix. Organ, the appendix has no use? Which we can think of right now. You're a cox's bone that was, you know, Many people regard that as the tail of the humans. The human tailbone is said to be vestigial. That is, it's an evolutionary leftover proving that we're related to primates. However, it's not a tailbone, it's the coccyx vertebrae. The tailbone derived its name because some people believe it's a leftover part from human evolution, though the notion that the tailbone serves no purpose is wrong. The coccyx is an extremely important source of attachment for tendons, ligaments, and muscles. Yeah, the only people who think that they, they first just did, I know what he's going to do. He's going to say that evolutionists, whatever the fuck that means, um, believe that these vestigial organs have no purpose. Uh, it's completely wrong because it's the only people who believe that is, is creationists. Well, the only people who are saying that are creationists, really. Or people don't really know much about uh, vestigial organs. But they... But the vestigial organs we are about to, is about to list off and say, well, this has a function here and here and here. Vestigial organs don't have, just because something is vestigial doesn't mean that it's completely useless. It will still have some moderate or to, or to little, or to moderate to light, uh, light uh, function, like the appendix. Or the earlobe. Mm-hmm. Okay, because on. you can put shiny rings into it and look cool. <laughs> or, or one of those holes that I see people going around with. I have a funny story about that, but I think I'll save it for later. Yep. Shall okay. we carry on? Yes, unfortunately. The also claim that the appendix is vestigial, but it's not. The appendix is actually part of the human immune system. According to Scientific American, for years the appendix was credited with very little physiological function. We now know, however, that the appendix serves an important role in the fetus and in young adults. Among adult humans, the appendix is now thought to be involved primarily in the immune functions. I would consider myself an atheist, yeah. Can you think of any famous atheists? Uh, I believe, um, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson said, I can't agree to the claims by atheists that I'm one of that community. Can you name you? No, uh, no, famous stop. atheists. We're not Poop mining, Ray. Bad, bad, uh, Ray. Apparently no not. Well, it's, that is what he said, but he has. Yeah, but the only, just... but the thing is, he agrees that in the technical sense, one can technically call him an atheist. He would just prefer not to be called that. Yeah, he's basically said he doesn't want to be associated, kind of, with the movement as such. Yeah, it's, it's like when you mention A plus, I and mean, nobody really wants to be a part of it. No, wait, nobody's a part of that shitty example. 
Um, but you know what I mean? Like, it's a some people would consider atheism a movement, but it is just a lack of belief in any form of deity. So I can understand that, but it's all about the context and the fact that he removed the context in order to quote my not, and that's why I said bad ray. Shall we carry on? I need to work ski. Oh, start with Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton said, The most beautiful system of the sun, planets and comets could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent he also didn't have and powerful being. As a possibility Can you think of any famous ideas you conceive of at the time? He also, uh, he also was a uh, supporter of alchemy. Yeah. So some people aren't exactly a hundred percent there. And so, again, when they sorry guys, I, uh, my computer crashed from the stupid. Right. I think no, I'm, <laughs> I'm back now. No, and I also think when they interviewed that woman there, they actually didn't show him asking that question. So I'm wondering if that's an unrelated question. He was probably maybe asking about gravity and physics. Oh, did I miss something stupid about physics? No, not really. Oh, good. It's just court mining going on right now. Oh, okay. So nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. No. A famous atheist. Yeah, a famous atheist. Yeah, my dad. <laughs> He's not famous. <laughs> Skeptics' websites often include examples of famous atheists in an attempt to win converts. But more often than not, the famous personalities cited are not actually atheists. This is a popular atheist poster on which are Ernest Hemingway, Abraham Lincoln, Carl Sagan, Mark Twain, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, Albert Einstein, and Charles Darwin, along with the words, atheism, good enough for these idiots. Clearly, atheism is for intellectuals. But one moment, Abraham Lincoln wasn't an atheist. Neither said, was Benjamin Franklin. I yes, I understand that. I, I've already railed against that particular posting in the past. It yeah. is a wrong posting. They are er erroneous in what they say. But that's besides the point. Some of them were atheists. <coughs> <coughs> and the fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter if there were intelligent people in the past that were atheists. That has nothing at all to do as yeah. to whether or not a god exists. But I think I know what atheist, in, in uh, quotation marks, that's famous, he's about to bring up. Oh god, I think yes, I just... Yes, I think everyone's got an inkling now where he's going with this one. I don't want that to go there. Stalin. Hitler. Is all yeah, we're gonna God win the shit out of this. But it's my constant anxiety and prayer that I and this nation should be on the Lord's side. Neither was Carl Sagan. He clearly stated, I am an agnostic. Mark oh, Twain hated God, religion, sorry. but he certainly I'm wasn't sorry. an atheist, saying, oh. None of us can be as great as God, but any of us can be as good. That didn't address his belief what? in the quote. That doesn't... that was... That's like me saying, I can't be as good as some of the characters I read about in fictional books, but I can try. It doesn't yeah. really say anything. It's not that I believe that characters exist. Benjamin Franklin said, God governs in the affairs of men. You'll find Thomas Edison listed on Celebrity Atheists, on Positive Atheism, and other atheist websites. But he wasn't an atheist. He said, there is a great directing head of people and things, a supreme being who looks after the destinies of the world. Again, that doesn't really say very much, I quote. Not a bit. Thomas Jefferson said, Say nothing of my religion. It is known to myself and my God alone. Albert Einstein rejected the oh. Bible as the word of God and said that the Creator was unknowable and that God being personal was childlike. He lamented, in view of such harmony in the cosmos, which I, with my limited human understanding, am able to recognize, there are yet people who say there is no God. Well, what really makes me angry is that they quote me to support such views. He categorically said, I am not an atheist. And when referring to those who deny the Creator, he used the term fanatical atheists. Charles he was, Darwin he, stop. he was talking about people who claim to know there's no God. Yeah. When has that ever stopped me a comfort? And yet True. again, what does this have to do with anything? Well, yeah, it's, it's completely mind. irrelevant uh, to the question of evolution.
said, I have never been an atheist. So out of the eight famous men on the poster, there was only one who was an atheist, Ernest Hemingway. According to his biographer, back in 1961, Hemingway, quote, pushed two shells into the 12-gauge Boss shotgun, put the end of the barrel into his mouth, pulled the trigger, and blew out his brains. Huh? What? Oh, there's your fuck point. you, Ray. What? Fuck that was you. just. Uh, I know what he's. I know what he's going to say next, that's... and I can just say right now, fuck you, if Ray. This is I not won't... an act. I'm actually that pissed no, but... off. Fuck you, Sorry. Ray. This the one thing I noticed, the the, he just Duncan. said, oh, this guy was an atheist, and he committed suicide, and then he's gone on to the suicide. Yeah. That's like... If he does go down that route, I will fucking crucify him. And um, anyone who knows me in my background will know the reason for this, and if it is going down that way, just leave it to me for a few minutes. Please. Okay, shall we finish this one? <laughs> oh, God, that is... Oh, I'm just... I think it's a new uh, low for comfort this one. Poster boy, when it comes to atheism. Keep he doesn't even bring up a quote or anything. I'm sorry. Okay. He's okay. basically saying that he's a poster boy for atheism because he shot he's himself. an atheist and he killed himself. I have experienced a member of my family committing suicide, so for him to say that it's something like being an atheist causes you to just kill yourself, I take such umbrage with that, that I, if that fucker was within arm's reach, a UN fucking binding resolution wouldn't stop me from getting at him. Because he's basically, all that came out of that was, he's an atheist, he killed himself, bad atheists. I'm an atheist, I haven't killed myself. You guys are atheists, you haven't killed yourselves. There... <laughs> There is five examples of people who aren't poster boys for atheism because we haven't killed ourselves. There are millions of people who are atheists who haven't killed themselves. What is his problem? Why is he going down that route? Is he because just an trying idiot. to take yeah. the emotional high ground? Because if so, he is feeling with such a fucking force. Yeah. The Jedi yeah. masters in a different you, in a different galaxy can fucking feel the disturbance. <laughs> <laughs> I all um, I really just, I'm just gonna say I think Ray's gone the lowest yet to that one. I I wasn't yeah. I didn't see that one coming at all. Scoring yeah. cheap, oh, cheap, 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 cheap points. I just right now I don't see that he's scoring any points at all. Yeah, not not like, even I cheap got, ones. He's I just, just being insulting. Say that's it. That I I, I find never an atheist been... who committed suicide and say, "Yeah, therefore atheism and suicide are related." Okay, well, I'm sure we can find a Christian who committed suicide. So does that prove that Christianity leads to suicide? Can I just say I have never been so disgusted by a comment in my life, and I have heard some fucking priceless ones. Okay, yeah. shall we carry I, on? I could I could just say that. Before this, I could at least say that I, you know, I think I'm very comfortable. He's an idiot, but you know, he means well. But with this, I actually feel physically sick. Yeah. Um, and that takes a lot. 